This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Well, ASAP Rocky is still being detained in Sweden, and it looks like there's a pattern there. Now, Quavo spoke to TMZ and said he had some issues. Sweden had us, they had me, and me and my cameraman on the curb, and they were trying to lock us up too. They ended up letting us go. It is what it is, but Sweden real tough. All right, apparently there's some issues there, and it looks like Kim and Kanye also lobbied Trump to get involved in ASAP Rocky's case in particular. I told y'all Kim was going to do that. Now, they said that Kanye actually urged Kim Kardashian to talk to Jared Kushner, and Jared Kushner then filled in Donald Trump on what was happening, and Donald Trump believes that something is amiss. So they are supposedly trying to get there. A State Department member is supposed to arrive in Sweden actually today to work to get him out of jail. Oh, they go Kim K working her magic. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't work, then y'all can always just, you know, click up and go storm that place the way y'all want to storm Area 51 and take a trip over to Sweden. All right, Kirk Franklin biopic is in the works. That's going to be amazing. I think that'll be a good one, and I would definitely go see that. Now it's going to be produced by Devon Franklin. You know him from having been up here as an author, motivational speaker, director, and also Megan Good's husband. Okay. And it's going to be written by Brian Ivey. Now, Brian Ivey most recently wrote and directed Emmanuel, the documentary about the 2015 Charleston Church mass shooting. So that should be a good one. Mm -hmm. All right. The Lion King, since we're talking movies, they're saying worldwide, they expect by Sunday it's going to make $450 million. Wow. They said on the low end in the United States, it could make about $140 million, which is still great. But they're saying globally, that's what they expect, $450 million. They said already in China, uh, it's already made quite a bit of money there. So. I'm excited see. about it. Why do you need to buy your ticket for this weekend, though? Why can't you just buy it for next week? Because my kids want to see it kids now. Wanna they want to see it when it comes out. It's going to be in be theaters, guys. They want to see it this not, weekend. They've been seeing all the coming not, attractions, the trailers. They want to see it's it It's not now. a one-weekend run. Do you tell Santa Claus not to come on Christmas and come two days later? I, I don't tell my kids about no goddamn Santa Claus. I work too hard to be telling my kids about some fat white man putting gifts under the tree. My Santa's not right. fat and white. My Santa looks like me. And fat if and your wife ever cheats on you with a fat white man around that time of year, they're not going to say nothing because they're going to think it's Santa. Think about no, that. No, they should still say no. something. They're still going to say something. No, yeah, they'll still that. say no. something. No, because you're telling them a fat white man supposed to be in the house around this time of year and this late at night. All right, I'm now let's home. let's backtrack That's a little. One day, man. <laughs> to some comments that Jermaine Dupri made, because now he's speaking out to defend these comments. To refresh you, Jermaine Dupri was talking to People Magazine. They were talking about female rappers, and this is what he said. I feel like they're all rapping about the same thing, and I don't think they're showing us who's the best rapper. It's like strippers rapping. I'm getting like, okay, you got a story about you dancing in the club. You got a story about you dancing in the club. All right, who's going to be the rapper? At some point, somebody's going to have to break out of that mold and just show us, you know, talk about other things. Okay, so Jermaine Dupri wants to clarify because this clip went viral, but it didn't tell, according to him, the whole story of what he was talking about. So Jermaine Dupri was on TMZ Live, and here's what he said. It's a million female rappers that's out here rapping. What my statement was was about the three that, that she asked me about. It wasn't about a general conversation about female rap. I never said all female rappers. And the one thing I want to make sure I'm clear on is people keep saying sexist. I'm far from a sexist. Let's not do that. Do you regret doing the interview or are you kind of happy that people are talking about it? No, nah, I don't regret it. I, I feel like, I know I'm saying I never dissed anybody, so I feel like the whole uh, action of this needed somebody to do this. He Why? said three rappers. What three rappers was he talking about? Nicki Minaj, Cardi, and Meg Thee Stallion. Why is Jermaine still talking about this, though? Better yet, why are people still yeah, asking Jermaine about this? Like, who cares? Because it was news. It made news. It was, it was viral was two weeks ago, bit. wasn't it? No, it was last week, I thought. Exactly. Who cares? I mean, people do care because a lot of people responded and said things about it, and it sparked a whole conversation. So now he's doing interviews. He's really doing interviews to promote a documentary that he's doing. I can't tell. But everybody's asking about this. What's the documentary about? Female rappers? That's what it sounds like to me. No. Oh. But he's doing a documentary, and so when he's doing these interviews, this is going to come That's what up. they ask him, Just right? like if he came up here, we would have asked him about it, I'm mm. sure. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure we would have, though. And, you know, so that's what's happening. These are the first interviews he's done since those comments mm -hmm. that sparked all kinds of conversations from female rappers and other people as well. So. It seemed like so long ago. All right, now, Jadakiss. So let's discuss something that he just ate. Now, what's your favorite part of a pizza when you eat pizza? Um, and only two parts of the pizza. It was either the crust or the regular pizza, I thought. No, I mean, or some the toppings. People, some people don't like cheese. Some people don't like the sauce. You some said people pizza get it with the pizza, though. Yeah, what's your favorite part of pizza? 
What's our favorite topping? No, what's your favorite part of a pizza? Like, is it the crust? Is it the cheese? Is it the sauce? So people like to get the sauce without the sauce. How about all of the above? I like all of the above. Well, Jadakiss just got a pizza, and everybody's talking about this. He did a pizza with just the crust. So that was his special request, just crust only. So no cheese, no sauce, Nothing. no toppings, no just bread. Just crust. Y'all taking this vegan thing too far, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just bread. He got it from cuts and slices, too. So a lot of people are saying, uh, why would you even do that? A lot of people throw the crust away. I, do, I know. My kids hate the crust, but. Yeah. So uh, now, according to the owner of Cuts and Slices, he said, uh, Jada Kiss has been telling me since I opened up to figure out a way to just serve crust, his favorite part of any pizza. So now it's a thing a year later. So people are ordering these pizza pies that's just crust only. Just and bread. Very trendy. Yeah. It's just the crust. I don't know how that just tastes. Why not just like, eat toast? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why just, not just, yeah, just, just make some toast, Jada. Uh, 